Hi guys, it's Arthur here. Welcome to episode number four of Let's Play Call of Duty Ghost. So today we're gonna play Team Deathmatch as always. Um, pretty much I play Team Deathmatch all the time. I I will play different game type modes. I'm gonna try a Drop Zone because it all recently came out. So um, I didn't play the game for quite a while. Um, too much stuff to do. So let's do this. Um, I'm gonna be playing with Honey Badger today. I think so. Um, so yeah, Honey Badger. Yep. And let's go. So we're playing my favorite map, um, the snow map. Pretty because, like, pretty much because I'm normally getting more than 20 kills on the map. Even if I die a lot, I'm still happy about the game because I get more than 20 kills. And the reason why is because I know where people spawn, I know where people go. So, and as you can see, I just spawned and already got a kill. So pretty happy with that. So yesterday, no, yesterday, two days ago, because I kind of had. I was working for today, so I kind of lost it. Yeah, two days ago, uh, Complexity won a Call of Duty World Cup Championship final against the Team Avenues. Um, I kind of supported Team Avenues to be fair, only because like my favorite player is Rambo, and you know, Rambo is kind of a decent player. Um, yeah, and I when I saw them play, and they said, you know, they play every day for seven hours, every single day, they live in the same house and play every day. I was shocked, and um, it's not that they don't have life, I mean, well, they kind of have more money than me now, because they want so much money, and they can just get bitches anyway, so they don't really need um, their kind of life, um, where you got a family and all that, they kind of just play Call of Duty, and in a way, it's, it's right for me, I mean, I wouldn't do it myself, I prefer to do, if I was doing something, oh, how did the fuck this dog kill me? If I was doing that, uh, you know, differently, if, if I kind of, um, how do you say it, it's like, I'm kind of lost, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do seven hours every day to play Call of Duty, if I had to spend seven hours in doing something to be the world champion, I would probably do like football, uh, like play footy, or in USA you call it soccer. Um, I'll probably, you know, do random stuff like sport related, um, but I will make, you know, definitely something else than just playing Call of Duty, because like playing Call of Duty for so long, it's kind of boring really. I mean, you get to the level, like, you know, you, you like the game, you want to play the game, cool, the game is fun, I'm not saying it's not, it's fun, but I'm, and on every single game, after a month, I just get bored of it, simply to the fact I just kind of achieved everything I could. And there's nothing else I can achieve. Uh, all I can do is a oh, fuck you, dog. Uh, all I can do is a you know prestige and prestige play with my friends. But like playing every day for seven hours, every day I would just get bored of it. Even you know, if I was already at the level that I can earn money from it, like you know, like they do earning you know so much money, like one million like dollars, and they win like winning the tournaments four times. So yeah, that's a lot of money. And, you know, if, if I was going to get the money, I probably win it once and then I would just give up and spend the money. Um, that's kind of my point of view. And um, But I'm not a real Call of Duty player. I am a beginning, beginner. I only play since Modern Warfare 2. And I, you know, Modern Warfare 1 I would say, but like Modern Warfare 2 online, Modern Warfare 1 offline. Yes, I like the game. It's, it's not that it's bothering me, but it's just like, uh, I, I'm not going to call myself a great player. Um, so I don't mean I'm not doing too good actually. Oh, get die you can. Um, I'm playing with Honey Badger. Um, Seeing so I want to get it on gold, I just want to get Honey Badger on gold and then move to another weapon. Um, yeah, but Honey Badger is a great weapon, and um, any distance, short, sh long distance. But I've seen um, you know Call of Duty players playing with Mtar. Literally every single player had Mtar. And like one person for like one round had um, Remington with um, Thermoscope. So, but that was just like one round of Search and Destroy. And that, that is it. Everyone had Emptor. And I think I'm gonna try it out after I get Honey Badger on Gold. Because I do like Honey Badger, it's my favorite gun so far. But if Emptor is so good, it might actually, you know, be changed. Because like at the beginning, I played with um, different weapons. And then I kind of found my weapon, which was Vector. And, um,. Was Honey Badger and Vector, and I play with that Vector, and I kind of like, oh, that's a six of machine gun. It's like the best one, 
and if you actually play with it like quite for a while it's a good gun i'm not gonna lie it's one of my it, it was my favorite submachine gun of all time even better than mp7 now on model for free but then i kind of started playing with honey badger again and I kind of got like good kill streak with Honey Badger, like 20 kill streak on, uh, you know, a decent kill streak. As you can see, a few bullets and it just kills people. So um, I kind of started playing with Honey Badger, and now kind of that's where where I am. But if I never tried Emta, and if Emta is that good, I think I will try Emta. Because if it's, um, I just know it for a fact. It's the best weapon. It's like you watch. Model for free championships, everyone was using MP7 and ACR. And the simple fact is because MP7 and ACR were the most overpowered weapons. As on Black Ops 2, you had a. Wait, what gun was on Black Ops 2? Um, definitely was um, the double pistol, because the pistols were overpowered. So, pistol akimbo and probably MP7, uh, Scorpion, th those those weapons, mostly submachine guns. As well, you go on Ghost, it's more about assault rifles. But MTAR is a submachine gun that play that is better than a. Oh, that's a nice triple kill there. Um, you know, that's better than all the assault rifles. So, I'm gonna try it out. I got a nice triple kill there. That's a, That was a pretty good triple kill, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really happy about this trip, okay? We'll just, you know, run around and kill three people. You know, I cannot ask for anything else. So, in about two minutes, there's gonna... No, two minutes, what well, I'm saying, two minutes. Twenty minutes. There's a Champions League game, and I am big fan of football, so I'm gonna be watching Chelsea against PSG, you know, obviously Dortmund's playing Real Madrid. I don't know if any of Club G players actually enjoy playing, watching football, or, as you can call it, soccer in the USA. But yeah, I do enjoy it, so I'm going to be watching it. That's why I'm kind of... I cannot wait for the game. So I'm kind of, you know, recording this. Um, you know, playing this game for the last match before... Probably I play one more match after this one with my friends. You know, before I actually, you know, can do something and watch the game. So, recording video for you guys. It's fun. Episode number four of this. So it's kind of fun. Okay, we said something about PUBG Championships. Complexity one. Um, I was kind of... I don't really understand the teams and um, Farika won last year now he was like where is Farika now? Where where actually is Farika? Is it like Farika changed name or something or is it the players joined the oh you fucking camper yeah? or is it like players just joined a different lobby? I, I'm not sure um, but it's just like I, I wanted the Farika to win again but like I'm I'm a fan of Team Avenue um, anyway because um, you know, they are really good. I mean, they lost in the final, fair enough. Um, they played against Complexity and, you know, what I don't like about, about Complexity is that they say they are the best and they are unbeatable and no one is going to be able to, you know, beat them, uh, play against them and win. And in my opinion, there is going to be a team, probably next championship, that's going to destroy Complexity and I am sure they will. And our next game, which is probably going to be Mod Warfare 4, Complexity is going to get absolutely hammered. And as you can see, I got a kill come, 25 kills to 14, and a couple of assists. Actually, there's quite a few assists. No, no, maybe yes, maybe, maybe not. I can't really see. Um, playing on a small screen, that's why I play on like 14 inch TV. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of. I, I play on my PC, on my Xbox, uh, but I kind of watch on my PC because I kind of when I play, I can watch my 32 inch TV, my 16 inch TV, and my PC, and they all go at the same time and they all showing the same thing. It's because you know El Gato and that they show the same things. Um, so I kind of I was watching the small screen at the minute, and yeah, 25 to 14, which is not too bad. I hate Stormfront, so I'm obviously going to go for Overload, because fucking Stormfront is like the shit map ever. Um, well, that's fucking true. Probably it's going to be, yeah, it's probably going to be Overload, because, you know, over Overload is better, in my opinion. So, yeah, my ratio at the minute is, you know, 1.0. Not too good, as you can see, I'm not the best of players. 1.20 something on leaderboards, yeah, not too bad. I'm prestige number one. And um, not too bad, maybe I'm going to be pressing number, number 2 soon. I'm not going to show you every gameplay I do, because sometimes we just mess around and the level goes up. So that's probably why. 
you know the race just kind of flow and everything's kind of low level and that but yeah i'm kind of happy let's play the one more map and we're gonna play on overload and actually i didn't play on overload for quite a while and it's one of my favorite maps due to the fact overload it's kind of it's got its point it's kind of got the middle it's got the back it's got the sides and it's got the other side of back. like so it's kind of like it's not a wide open map or it's like not close together the map size is perfect you got so much you know stuff around that it's, you kind of like you can find your place and everyone is gonna find their place and you kind of battle against each other when you like let me find an example, Stormfront, like the map that was just about to phone for, it's like one of the biggest map, you just walk out and you get a hard scope from, from whatever map, so you have to go around the map. Where in this one you can just go anywhere, you can go to the side, you can find someone from the left, from the right. As you can see I went from the left, right hand side and I found someone. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping for a good ratio on this one, so you're not gonna say I'm a shit liar. But already died, so it's one to one, fuck. Not doing too good. The tank is also a good bit because you know it kind of ruins the open space that's what they meant to do on this map so there isn't too much open space i think the most open wide space is this bit and the bit up behind me so and i died again fuck you know i died again so yeah this bit and the bit behind me um it's the actual you know open bit and it's good because you have two open space um five six close space and you kind of go, you know, the in between. So it's a pretty good map. Um, again, Honey Badger uh, playing with the same one. Uh, the perks I'm using is. Don't even know. <laughs> you know. I don't even know. I uh, don't remember at the minute. But I'm, I'm definitely, you know, at the minute I'm using Satcom in you know, a helicopter and a dog and a guard dog. But I will change it to something better. I'm probably gonna have a guard dog, a helicopter, and probably a sentry gun. Because they are the good ones. Um, they, they are the ones that can get you kills, you know. Because like Satcom, I've got them ready, but they won't really get me killed. So. Um, yeah, that's okay then. Um, I'm kind of run around the maps and I cannot even see one. And when I do, I fucking die. Um, so, and I died. Okay, five kills, two, five kills, two deaths. Which is okay for me. At the minute, I would say, which isn't, which isn't too bad. Um, obviously, if you're watching this video, please um, switch it to HD, because I kind of record the games in HD, and it's better. It's better to watch. My voice is different when you kind of watch in HD as well, so it's kind of better. Um, seven kills, two deaths. I'm happy about that. Honey Badger is a good gun. I think I saw someone there, so I just kind of fucking him up. I want to fuck him up, but he's gonna be there, so. I'm gonna have to go around him. But there's some pussy there. Die. I need to shit myself that I'm gonna die. I need to wait until my screen's gonna get back to what it was. And my dog gonna kill so I got a helicopter. Yeah, rape him, dog rape him. I'm happy. So the Champions League matches that I was talking about are gonna start. Let me just look at my TV. Kind of I don't like watching my TV and I'm playing at the same time, yes. Real Madrid Dormant it's on TV so I'm gonna have to watch that one even if I'm a Chelsea fan um, but I like Dortmund I like because I'm from Poland you know three Polish players three the best Polish players play for Dortmund probably the best striker at the minute in the world Robert Lewandowski is playing for Dortmund as well Polish one so yeah it's okay I'm gonna be happy to watch that one um, I just want to know you guys thoughts about you know do you even like football or not you can put it in the comments because that'd be co quite interesting um I could, but by the time i upload this video it's gonna be probably after the match even started so my prediction for real madrid versus dortmund it's gonna be three nil to real madrid even if i like dortmund i think it's gonna be three one to real madrid I like all the teams really because like Real Madrid is a great team they got Cristiano Ronaldo one of, one of my favorite players he's a really good player as well and um, to Dortmund they uh, they have the Polish people Polish I mean Lewandowski won't be playing because he got you know yellow carded but um, 
I like them as well, so I would like a draw, I would like, you know, any of the teams that will go through, I'm happy. I uh, probably will prefer Dortmund, uh, so in the Polish history there's going to be more players in the Champions League, as in, you know, last year Dortmund was actually in the final. Then you got the other match, which is Chelsea against PSG, I support Chelsea, oh, of course, I want you know, Chelsea to win. Um, then the other games when last yesterday was United against Bayern when they draw 1-1. One, one. Obviously Bayern kind of destroyed them, they got lucky to get 1-1 one, one equaliser. And um, I want kind of Bayern to win that one. And then the other one, which was 1-1 uh, one, one as well. The other game which was 1-1, one, one, Barcelona against Atletico. Uh, I want Atletico to win because I don't like Barca, so... It's kind of open wide, and I'm actually playing really good. 25 kills and four deaths at the minute. I'm destroying those, as you can see. 26. I am absolutely destroying the opposition in team. I am playing really good, and I'm hoping that I will get even more. And we, pretty much, my team is winning because of me, um, which I'm happy about. Our oh, fucking camping twat, you fucking gay can camping. Fucking twat, you ruined my fucking ratio. Oh, you dickhead. I fucking hate you. Okay, so, guys, please, you know, enjoy watch end of this map, I would say, because there's only one left kill, so I probably won't even get that one now. I won't. Oh, you can look at the guy in the left corner. Can you see how much they fucking camped the whole game? I still destroyed them. I literally destroyed their team. They were rage quitting people. Oh my god. But anyways guys, if you did enjoy episode number 4, please like, please subscribe. Um, I want a suggestion of a new series, like, um, I want to start something, like, new series that can be interesting. Like, you know, we can do something. Um, so please, uh, feel free to do that, and i see you guys next time. Peace.